Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from a beautiful Menasha, Wisconsin. Whether you're joining me live on Facebook or you're watching the replay on YouTube, please make sure you share my video. Sharing is caring and I always appreciate that. Hi Nancy, welcome. Nancy, you're our first watcher tonight. <laughs> I have some really great projects to share with you tonight. I was working all afternoon trying to come up with something that would be um, enticing and fun and maybe something new. So I've got a couple techniques to share with you. Hi Anne, hi Marsha, Kelly. Let me know where you're coming from. Um, everybody who leaves comments will be entered in a drawing to win prizes. Who doesn't love prizes, right? So I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, I actually had a great weekend. Let me see, I'm gonna get my little grab bag here. So I went to a stamping event. Yep, that's right, I went to a stamping event. I didn't put a stamping event on, I went to one. There was a gal out of um, Minnesota that came into my hometown of Nilesville and put on a stamping event and it was so much fun and if you're a demonstrator and you haven't been to somebody else's stamping event in a while find one and register oh my gosh it was so nice not being in charge and <laughs> when I got home my husband said so did you take over the whole thing <laughs> like, no I did not it was wonderful just being a stamper so that was super super fun hi Brenda hi Sandy Rhett, so glad you're watching from Nova Scotia. Is it cold up there? I don't know if you're, I'm, I'm Canadian illiterate. I will be the first one to admit it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Are you on the West Coast, on the East? Are you above me? I have no idea. I don't think you are, but I'm, I'm terrible. So anyways, I went to the stamping event and um, we made 18 cards. It was crazy. And this gal, her name was Carmen. She was actually from Minnesota, or she lived in Minnesota, but she was from my hometown of Nilesville. And she put on such a wonderful event. It was just, I was in awe of all the preparation that she did and everything went off without a hitch. We had a nice lunch. It was held at a country club, um, the country club, not a country club. Nilesville only has one. It's a very small little town. So it was just so much fun. And um, as soon as I flip the camera around, I'll show you guys some of the cards that we made because it was, it was really neat. I was very impressed. So hi, Nikki, hi, Linda. And I don't know where Manitoba is either. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> I know you guys will tell me, right? And Brett, you're near Maine. Oh, is that where Manitoba is, near Maine? Okay, so East Coast. All right, so that's good to know. I'll try to remember that. Like I said, geographically, I'm very challenged. I know where stuff is in the U.S., and I know where Mexico is because I love it there. <laughs> Other than that... And I do know where Canada is, Canada is, of course. But um, got a few things to share with you guys. I'm going to take care of some housekeeping right away this morning, or right away tonight. Um, let's see. We have, oh, I have a new online class available. If you missed it on Friday, it's on my blog, www.estampabove.com. And um, it is using the first frost bundle. I have a fantastic video on there using the mother of pearl technique with shimmer paint. So you have to check that out if you missed it. But there's also a first frost online class. And what is that? Well, it's a class where I have um, nine exclusive cards. I usually do eight cards, but this one has nine. So you get a bonus card with this online class. None of these cards will be seen on any Pinterest or Facebook or any place. You'll never see them on my blog. Um, they are private. Each card has its own video tutorial. And you can get the online class on my blog for $20 or if you're on my team and you have placed your first demonstrator order ever, so like in the history of your demonstratorship, if you have placed a demonstrator order, you qualify for those classes for free. So if you've been thinking about buying that starter kit and becoming a discount shopper or a business builder, 
give that some serious thought because I have, I think, six classes now, um, online classes, and my team gets those for free. So that's a huge benefit of, of joining me. And so anyways, you'll find all the details there. You can buy the bundle from me and you'll get the class for free. You can join my team and place a demonstrator order. You'll get the class for free. Or you can pay me $20. I love money. <laughs> so um, what else? Let's see. Uh, this week coming up, I have a team meeting. So that's always fun. I do team meetings once a month. And this month, it's on Wednesday night from 6 to 8. And if you're not local and can't attend in person, I broadcast them on Facebook Live just like I'm doing here. So all my demonstrators can tune in. And the other cool thing is, is when they tune in live, their names get entered into the door prize drawings just as if they're there. So we do a card swap, which is super fun. And um, what else do we do? We have lots of demonstrations by various demonstrators, volunteer to um, demonstrate different techniques and fun folds and all kinds of great stuff, storage tips. Um, so that's always nice too. And we have everybody bring stuff to share what they've been making. So we've got a ton of display boards and it's just, it's a lot of fun. I know Luann, money is good, right? <laughs> yeah, money's good. So, um, if you've ever thought about becoming a discount, sh discount shopper, I would love to have you join us. It's a lot of fun. I also have a blog um, for my demonstrators and a private Facebook page just for them too. So share lots of things. And um, whether you want to be a discount shopper, which is great, or you want to build a business, I provide a lot of training. So... And Donella is on here. So Donella was at the event in Nilsville on Saturday, and it was so nice to meet you, by the way. Um, you and Debbie I had never met before. But um, Donella had a little problem. She said she could only see half of what I was doing when she watched the replay of my Facebook Live. So if you guys are having this trouble, I want to tell you what happened. So she, she got out her phone and showed me, and um, she was watching it on my blog. So she went to my blog, and she clicked on the video, and all she could see was like half of my hand way over here, and then nothing else on the screen. And so if anybody else is experiencing that problem, all you have to do is go to YouTube. Click on that little YouTube banner, or go to YouTube and look up my name and look for my latest Facebook Live, because... Um, for some reason, her phone was not formatting my blog to fit on the screen. So she was only getting a tiny bit of it, and the rest of it was off the screen. So there you go. And discounts are good, aren't they? <laughs> Hi, Judy. Hi, Linda from Auburn, New York. Bernie, good to see you on here. Bernie was at the event on Saturday, too. Um, so just a little tip there. And for those of you that were wondering, you know the last couple weeks I've had trouble getting my Facebook Live to be landscape instead of portrait, and it was very frustrating. Well, um, we did some investigation and figured out how to do it. Facebook changed some settings. It used to be that you had to hold your phone like this and then turn on the Facebook Live to keep it landscape. And um, Facebook changed it so now you can have your phone in the portrait and push go, and then you turn it and it'll turn sideways. <sighs> It's like, why? Why do they do that? But anyways, I'm glad we figured it out because that was really frustrating. And we have a much bigger screen tonight, which makes it easier for me because keeping everything in that little slot was hard. So you can see what I'm doing, right? Um, what else is happening? Uh, I think I announced winners last week of the... Um, I gave away an online class on my VIP page, and I did have a few people contact me saying, I am not on your VIP page, and I got them on there. So, um, if you have ever placed an order from me, you should be on my Facebook VIP page. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, pop me an email, kelly at a stamp com, so I can get you added to that group. I share exclusive stuff on there, so you definitely want to be there. And I have giveaways on there. So, um, yeah, you want to be on there, let me know. Okay, Raylene Woodrow was our big winner of the free online class on the VIP Facebook page. 
And um, I also wanted to let you guys know that once a month for using that host code that I'll share with you in just a little bit, once a month I do a drawing and whoever wins, they get to choose a stamp set of their choice. So everybody that orders and uses that code gets to choose a stamp set of their choice on me. I pay for it. So that's awesome, right? I know, more free stuff, more money going out the door. Um, <laughs> Sandy Johnson of Nina, Wisconsin was our big winner for the month of September. So congratulations, Sandy. I am um, glad that you used the host code when you placed your order. And um, Steve says, hello from the kitchen. Focus, look at me, focus. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> okay, so funny little thing. Um, we were at my mom's house over the weekend, and he was there hunting. And he comes up to me, and he goes, oh, I just took a shower. Smell me. And I smelled. And he goes, what do I smell like? And I'm like, you don't smell like anything. He said, that's right. He was using no scent soap, and he shouldn't smell like anything. So tonight, he came in here, and, and he said, oh, smell me. And I smelled him. And I'm like, oh, you smell good. He wasn't using no scent soap tonight. So that was... That was kind of funny. He didn't get any deers over the weekend, and I didn't go bow hunting because when I got done with my stamping event, I was really tired, so I just went to bed um, and took a big long nap and then worked till the wee hours of the morning, so that was okay. I um, want to let you guys know that I have gift certificates available in any denomination. You can buy them for anybody or... You can give my contact information to your friends and family with the upcoming holidays coming and um, have them buy you a gift certificate from me. They contact me. We take care of all the details. And um, it's a great way to get exactly what you want for Christmas, if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Gift certificates. I also have orders going in every Thursday. I know some of you um, are not computer literate as far as you don't like to put in orders online and that's fine you can always contact me and put an order in with me um, you don't have to do it I'll do it for you and um, I put those orders in every Thursday so I've got things popping up on my screen that shouldn't be so that's why I'm like a little distracted what bow do I use? Um, I don't remember what the brand of my bow is I know my husband just bought a brand new Matthews and uh, yeah, that was pretty pricey. But anyways, um, I don't know what my bow is. It's small and I can pull it back. So I do have lighted knocks. <laughs> Those are sweet. Um, Linda, you're computer savvy. You did figure it out. Don't even. <laughs> okay, I received one card in the mail this week and it was so cute. So this came to me from Cindy Benward and she was one of the prize winners last week and I just thought this was so cute. So this is Cindy's envelope. She mailed it in a regular size envelope, but it's this tiny, whoops, let me see. It's this tiny little card and it's so sweet. So let me show it to you. Isn't that so pretty? Now you may think this is one of our stamp sets but it's actually one of the paper pumpkin kits from last year. And um, Cindy said, received my corrugated folder today. Thank you, I've been playing with it all day. You are awesome. Isn't she sweet? So thank you very much, Cindy. I really appreciate that. So Lisa says, all I can see is a close up of your eye. I don't know what that means. Oh, Jenna shoots a longbow, holy cow. That takes a lot of skill, Jenna, I know what you're talking about there. Um, okay, that was my share for you this week. And what else do I have? We have winners from last week. Oh, wait. Well, I'm going to turn the camera around to show you this other thing because um, it's amazing. I received a gift on Saturday, so I have to show that to you. We're going to do our winners first from last week. And um, for commenting, our big winner was Susan Knaus from Ackley, Minnesota, and Susan is going to win this pack of glitter and clear epoxy shapes. So these are really fun. They add so much to your card too. And then for sharing my video, I've got Jeannie Comus. She's going to win this little pack of stamp spots. And that's for sharing my video. Jeannie is from Menasha, Wisconsin. 
And last but not least, we have Randy Dagler from Farmington Hills, Michigan. And I found a bunch of stamps that I was saving to give away in my closet by my other door prize stuff. Completely didn't even know they were there. There's like a stack of them this big. This is a special from last year called Mary Patterns. There's tons of ideas using this online. And I thought, ooh, this is perfect with the holidays coming up, right? So Randy Dagler, got, she won this. She was in the drawing for everyone who placed an order between um, last Sunday and this Sunday. So congratulations, you guys. I will be mailing all these out uh, tomorrow morning. If anybody is on here that's new and you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, if you'd like to get your hands on our catalogs, I go to the post office every Monday morning so I can throw them in the mail for you, but you just have to let me know. So please contact me. Email is best because I go through my emails pretty much with a fine tooth comb, okay? So if you email me at kelly at a stamp above.com and say, Kelly, I would like the catalogs. Don't forget to give me your, your address. Lots of people say I would like the catalogs and I don't have an address. So then we have to play, you know, ping pong back and forth. So um, I just had something else pop up on my screen. That's very distracting. I wish that would stop. <laughs> I did turn on my Do Not Disturb. Oh, and I'm gonna plug in my phone so that we don't, remember that one time when um, my phone went dead? Yeah, that was great. <laughs> okay, I think that's all the announcements I had here. Don't forget to share my video. You can click on that share button right now. That really helps me out. I do appreciate it. Okay, um, I think now I'm going to, oh, I have one other announcement. How did I even miss that? I wrote it in red. Hello. Paper pumpkin flash sale starts tomorrow, and it's only tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, you, If you are a new subscriber, you can get your first paper pumpkin kit for $5. $5. That is crazy. And Stampin' Up! is telling us that once you get your kit for October you will want to stick around for November because we have a holiday project um, kit coming out. And Steve, did you win? No. Y well, you know, you did win. You won me. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big prize. <laughs> it's expensive too. <laughs> um, anyways, flash sale, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and $5. And you have to be a new subscriber. So what do you have to do to be a, um, a new subscriber? If you've subscribed in the past and you're no longer a subscriber, all you need is a new email address and that makes you a new subscriber. And Stampin' Up! has actually told us to tell you this so that you can get in on this great um, flash sale. So don't be afraid to use a different email address and sign up um, for Paper Pumpkin. And I will share a link on my Facebook page when I'm done with my Facebook Live. That will take you right to my paper pumpkin store. Oh, look at Steve just said, you are correct, honey. <laughs> That's right. Um, it'll take you right to my paper pumpkin store, or you can just go to mypaperpumpkin.com and look for me, Kelly Atchison, and sign up as um, a demonstration, or sign up under me when you subscribe. Now, what do you get when you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through me? You will get 17 to 18 different alternate ideas using the monthly kit. So each kit that we get, every month I provide 17 to 18 alternate ideas to use with the kit. You can of course make everything you want exactly as Stampin' Up! has intended it, or you can use this file to make different things, and it's really fun. I have a great time coming up with those alternate ideas. So that's a big benefit of subscribing under me. There you have it. All right, so now I think I'm done with all my announcements. I do have to bring you guys up on my screen here, so just give me just a second. And, okay, Mickey, I see that you asked if you were on my VIP page. Um, I'm gonna close this window and I may forget to go back to it, so you might wanna send me that message again because then it will be flagged that I haven't answered it. And Cynthia says she gets two every month. That's a great idea because then you can make more cards, right? They're super, super fun. Okay, logging in right now, maybe if my computer cooperates here. 
to this live and I'm going to push the mute button. There we go. So now I can see all of your comments and that's helpful. If I missed anything that anybody asked, let me know. I try to go back through these when we're done to see if I missed anything. Hi, Lorraine from the UK. Welcome. Oh, good, Mickey. You got that message. Good. That'll be helpful. Did you receive a card from me last week? I did, Brenda. Where did that go? You know what? I am going to have to locate that because I did receive a card from you. And I thought, oh, you know what? Maybe I put it in here. Hang on. Ah, thank you for reminding me. I am so sorry. I bought this new little container to um, hold some of my stuff here. And I did get a card from Brenda. And this uses the Blended Seasons bundle. Super cute, Brenda. It's perfect for fall. And Brenda says, awesome that you reached your milestone when you um, had shared that. I was so excited for you. And it feels good that you reached it. So this is for my $700,000 milestone. Okay, so Lisa is saying, I can see a very close shot of your cheek. I don't know what's happening. Um... Don't know what to tell you there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I think everybody else can see my whole face, right? <laughs> you're this cheek or this cheek? <laughs> I'm sorry that you're having problems. Um, it's your device. Um, so I don't know what to tell you. And you can't be watching this on my blog because I haven't put it there. And that was what Danella's um, problem was. So did you guys see this card from Friday? Holy cow, this is my first frost card. I have a video on my blog, and this is the mother of pearl technique using the um, shimmer paint. Thank you, Sarah, for telling me that I look fine so you can see more than my cheek. Um, but yeah, wasn't that pretty? Holy cow, this is a really nice card, and this is the bundle I have my online class for. So, super cool. Okay, I think I am going to flip my camera um, for those of you that may get motion sickness, you might want to close your eyes. Oh, wait, Sarah says maybe she double-clicked on the video to zoom. Okay, so if you click on it again, it should zoom back out. Try that. That might work. I hope we can get that solved. Um, okay, flipping the camera. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. Hi, Kelly. Glad to see you here. I'm going to flip you around now. Okay, let me get this set up. It's not time yet to open your eyes, so just hang on. And I have to mirror. Hmm, here we go. Mirror, here we go. I think somebody moved my stand here a little bit. Let's move this out so we have more room. Okay, good. I think we got it. Are you guys... Is everybody good? You can open your eyes now. Okay, good. All right, so look at this. Do you guys remember seeing these gift bags? I made them on one of the Facebook Lives a few months ago. And this is just super, super sweet. This gorgeous little bag. Little tag with my name on it. This is a gift from Arliss. And Arliss is one of my friends that lives in Nilsville. And she's the one who posted some of these little stationery holders. And then I made some card boxes. Let me grab one. I think I have them right over here. At least I have. Yep, I do. Hang on. I'll be right back. I made up cards and put in them. So here's um, what I'm talking about. If you missed these, these were, I don't remember what month, but if you go to my Facebook page when we're done here, click on videos, you'll be able to see a little box like this. I showed you guys how to make these. And um, they're super fun. And I just made a bunch of monogrammed cards is what I did. Now, Arliss is the one who posted one of her creations and I went, oh, we have to make those. Hers go this way, and look at this. She took this and wrapped it in cellophane, and these are all pieces of paper for writing notes. So Arliss, as I was looking through these, I was laughing my butt off. So I just thought it would say Kelly Atchison, maybe just on the top one or a few, but no, look at this. 
important stuff, pay attention, stop forgetting all the things, blah, 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 remember to blah, 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 wait, what? <laughs> I say this a lot and I have my wait, what video, so that's super cute. I never finish anything. <laughs> Last night I dreamed my whole desk was clean. Ah, first I drink the Pepsi, then I do the things. And this had me just laughing before. It was so funny because that's so typical. And here we go again with Kelly Atchison and these start over. But look at all these note papers that she made for me. I love these because I constantly write notes to myself. And they're all in this great little box. And this is going to stay right on my desk for all the notes. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Arlis, thank you so much. That was just so sweet of you. I really do appreciate it. What a wonderful gift to have. I love it. Let me get that over here. Get this put away. I'll put my bag right over here. And then this is a little gift bag from the event that I went to this weekend. It got kind of crinkly on the way home here. But, um, Everybody, there was a prize patrol, and everybody's bag had a different color or a different animal on the front. So when Carmen announced the prize patrol, she would say, and now the green giraffes win a prize, and then we could go up and choose a prize. So it was a really cute little idea. And then I'll show you some of the cards that we made. Here's one of them, and I love this color combination. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, 18 different cards, you guys. It was crazy that we accomplished that much. Um, and we were done by 2 o'clock. So it started at 9 and we were done by 2 o'clock. I love, love, love this. This is the Dashing Reindeer. Look at that with the wood underneath. This is our um, wood textures paper. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, what else do I have here that I can show you? Oh, here's another deer one. The Dashing Deer stamp set. And again, with the wood texture paper. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Uh, let's see. What else do I have here? Oh, this is a pretty one, too. A nice fall card. Look at that. That uses our copper paper. So pretty. I said all of these cards were very very nice and I was really surprised because um, it takes a special talent to be able to make easy cards that are awesome right that's kind of tricky but look at this with the cross bundle so very pretty and here's a silver one this is our silver metallic edged ribbon the gold metallic edged ribbon and this is just so spectacular what else do I have here? Um, here's Lovely as a Tree. Again, a very simple card, but just beautiful, right? I think everybody that went to this event on Saturday just were just floored by the projects we made. And look at this. These are all ovals in here. And then a frame cut out of that front layer, and we just set it over with the um, Bethlehem set in the back, that die. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I have one more card using that, too. Where did it go? Right here. Look at this one. Isn't that just cool? This is the die, and then we stamped the image right on top of it. Very, very pretty. Yeah. It was pretty neat. What else do I have here? Oh, I've got some balloons. This is that, um, oh, what's that called? That map set of designer series paper this and this that's where that's coming from so that's cool and yeah Arliss is on here by the way you guys so yeah she made that beautiful box of stationary notes for me look at this one isn't that fun yeah pretty cool what else do I have here I've got the vases and we colored the vases with Wink of Stella, so that was pretty fun. Makes for a neat look. And let's see, here was a little um, candy gift that she gave us, a little box with some kisses in it. Isn't that sweet? I'll tell you, this, this gal, she did an outstanding job. It was just phenomenal, the amount of work that she did for this event. And of course, she's gonna be having it again next year. 
So I did advertise this to everyone um, a month or two ago, letting you know what was going on. So when it happens again, I'll let you guys all know. And if you want to come over to beautiful Nilsville, Wisconsin, she would love to have you there. All right, should we get started stamping? I think that's all I wanted to show you. Um, at the end, you guys, don't let me forget, I'll show you a bulletin board. I made up a whole bunch of um, display boards with Christmas cards, and I want to share them with you. But I have to take my phone off and, you know, move it around so you can see it. So don't let me forget to do that. Okay, we are going to be making a super cute card. Now, I've got one more Halloween card that I designed, and then I've got a fall card and a Christmas card to share with you tonight and some neat techniques. So, stick with me. Don't forget to share the video. Sharing is caring. <laughs> okay, again with the cauldron bubble. So, I love, love, love Halloween. It's one of my things. Absolutely adore it. Oh, where's my cardstock layers? Those are helpful. Um, hang on just a second. Let me get all these little pieces out. And my card so I know what I'm doing here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no. <laughs> I just pulled the top off my hat. <laughs> okay, hang tight. I'm going to have to grab some black foil paper so I can make number one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got some right here. That'll work. Never mind. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do, I was trying to be all prepared so you wouldn't have to wait for me to do this, is I'm going to cut out one of these little witch's hats in the middle of my black layer. So, hang tight. Got my big shot over here. It's not too far away, so we'll get that done right away. And I won't rip my hat in half. How about that? Here we go. Whew. Okay, hat with a tip. <laughs> All right, so here are our layers. We have a layer of Whisper White, and this one is three and a quarter by three and a half. And then the black foil is an eighth of an inch bigger at three and three eighths by three and five eighths. This is going to be a layer that goes under this white layer, so that's why I could just cut you know, a hat out of the middle of it because you're never going to know. We've got a white layer for the inside that's four by five and a quarter. I've got a card base that's four and a quarter by 11 and I've scored it at five and a half. I'll do that. And we've got a piece of gorgeous grape that is four by five and a quarter and I ran it through the swirls and curls embossing folder, which is what I'm going to need to do to my hat because I ruined it, right? <laughs> Hang tight. We're going to get that done right away. So what are you guys drinking tonight? Who's got something fancy to drink? Or who's got something that isn't fancy? I am drinking um, my Crystal Light Raspberry Lemonade. Kind of boring, but I had a soda earlier tonight so I could be nice and perky for you guys. <laughs> I know that's important. Don't want me falling asleep on the job. Okay, so here's our hat that I ran through the um, Swirls and Curls embossing folder. All right, now we're going to do a little stampin'. So the first thing, oh, you know what else I need? I need a scrap of basic black. Doo -doo -doo. Let me find our basic black. Here it is. So you guys, I am actually thinking about going up north and staying there on a Sunday night and taking my projects with me and doing them from my mom's house. So you might see that happening sometime soon. And, um, if it does, we can keep our fingers crossed that the internet will be strong enough to handle a live feed like this. But I tested it out a couple times while I was there over the weekend on a, just a, um, a private Facebook group that I have. And it worked just fine. So I think I'm going to give it a shot because um, I would like to go up and go hunting and not have to come back for Sunday night. I can stay right there. So that would be cool, right? 
Okay, so here's our black scrap. Got a piece of paper here for my embossing powder and Versamark ink. So I'm gonna stamp this cute little cat in the Versamark ink. And then we are going to pour some powder on it. Okay. And then I'm gonna dump this powder back in here. This is how I do this, because it's easy and I always have scrap paper laying around, right? Put the lid back on your embossing powder and then we're gonna heat set this with the heat tool. So, hang on. Because, you know that through the magic of TV, I have already done that. So there we go, you don't have to wait for me to do that. All right, next, we are going to do a little stamping on this layer. Let's put our little cat over here. Put my framelit away before I lose it, right? Have you guys ever done that? Oh my gosh, you could just cry. Most of the time I find things that I lose, but sometimes you just don't, you know? And ugh, it can be just tormenting. Okay, I am taking the broom. Remember last week I made some cards with this broom, which is totally different than what everyone is making with the stamp set? Yeah, it was pretty fun. So there's one broom. Here's another broom. And I'm just tipping them back and forth. And here comes the last one. And I've got my chamois here. Who's got a chamois? I love my chamois. I have really just switched completely over to the chamois for cleaning my stamps because they're fabulous. All right, then I've got, hang on, I'm missing a little piece of cards. Oh, I'll bet you this is it. <laughs> yeah, it is. So we're gonna stamp Happy Halloween on here. I'm gonna stamp that about right there. Oh my gosh, it was straight the first time, you guys. Not gonna lie, I cut. I would have the other side and then a whole other piece in case I messed that up. So, whoo, that was pretty good. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I've got, okay, so both of these pieces are half inch by about two and a half or three inches. We're gonna trim them down. So I'm gonna stack that black piece behind the gorgeous grape, and I'm just going to cut both of these at an angle, just like that, okay? So that's what I just did. And then we are going to put our brooms on our black foil sheets. Who has black foil sheets? Did you buy these? They're new in the holiday mini catalog, and I was super excited to see them because they're perfect for Halloween. And I saw a gorgeous Christmas card made with black, too, so that was kind of neat. Okay, next I'm going to stack these two pieces together just like this. So I'm going to just glue this grape onto the black foil. Let me get my layer out from under there so it's not weird. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going to add these to my card front. Well, this is my card front. It'll totally be a card front soon. We're going to put these right in the middle. And I've got that purple one so that it's going straight across. I'm going to turn this over and trim it off. And then we're gonna grab some of our mini dimensionals. Oh, Kathy's drowning in her sorrows because the Packers lost. Yeah, I know, it was kind of pathetic. And you know what? If the kicker had made his kick, somebody said that they would have winned and I, they would have winned. Oh my Lord, they would have won. And I did not do all that math, but that's kind of pretty sad, right? Our Packers lost today, um, in case you guys care. <laughs> Yeah, the Green Bay Packers lost their game against the Lions. And I did watch it, and it was pretty lackluster, I think. But it was sad. Ice, iced pumpkin spice latte Kathy String is drinking. That sounds delicious. We should take a drink right now. 
Oh my gosh, delicious. Okay, I just glued this piece onto my black base. And see where I cut that hat out in the middle of there? Nobody's ever gonna know. Unless I send this card to one of you. And in that case, you'll know there's a hat hole in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> We're gonna finish this up. Now I'm going to put some regular size dimensionals on the back of my hat. And I'm just going to put that right up here. And then we're just going to put our little hat right over here. We've got one more thing to do to this. I have been using these little spider trinkets, but I keep forgetting to do them on Facebook Live. And they are just adorable. Let me see. Can you see those good? They're so, so cute. I love them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... They've got a little, um, what do you call this, a jump ring on them so you can hang them from string or wire or whatever you want to do. I'm going to take my wire cutting scissors and I'm going to cut that whole loop off. So now there's no loop on here. It's just a little spider. I'm going to grab my mini glue dots and I'm going to wad up a little mini glue dot here, stick it on the back of my little silver spider. There we go. And we're going to stick it right on our hat. Is that not the cutest little thing ever? I know, isn't the gorgeous grape just striking? Thank you so much, Diane. Yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do to the inside? Well, let me show you. I've got my, here's my Whisper White. And I'm going to take my little trick or treat. Let's make sure we have that right side up. Well, that side's dirty, so we'll do it on this side where it's not dirty. So we've, well, I kind of messed that up, didn't I? Well, hmm, I don't like that. Hang on. <clears throat> I almost always have four by five and a quarter pieces cut here in case I make, it's just easy access because I use them so much. That looks better. Okay, we're going to do that, and then we're going to come in with, oh, I know. This is the Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper, and this is the purple striped pattern. And I'm just going to add this. This is half inch by four. I'm gonna add this to the bottom of my inside layer because, well, why wouldn't you? It's super cute. I love doing stuff like this. Now I'm gonna stamp my little frog right down here. Then I'm gonna grab Let's see, I'm gonna grab the lighter of the, I think this is, yep, Granny Apple Green. And this is our stamp and blend. And I'm just going to color in our little frog. So that's all the coloring that's on there. And this is the inside of our Halloween card. Let me close up my ink before I dump my card in it. How about that? Who cares? Kay says she cares. What do you care about? I missed something. Oh, the Packers. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, they're just not having a very good time right now. But we're having fun. Okay, there's our super cute little Halloween card. Isn't that adorable? And it's a pretty quick card to make, too. Again, with the Cauldron Bubble Bundle, this is the bomb, you guys. And these little... <clears throat> excuse me, spider trinkets. That's what they're called, spider trinkets. So when you go online to place an order, you can just type in in the search spider trinkets and you'll find these. And I think you get 12 of them. They're super cute. And you could make all kinds, you could make earrings out of these. You can make all kinds of stuff with those. Super, super fun. Thanks, you guys. Okay, let's get on to our next project. Hang on, I'm just gonna clean these stamps off before I dump them back in here. Get rid of my mess, right? Okay, I'm gonna leave that card right there because I like to pull them back out at the end so we can remember what we made. All right, now I have a fall card. So we did Halloween, now we're gonna do fall. And we are using the Wishing You Well stamp set. I have not used this yet. As a matter of fact, it's brand new to me. So I just got it last week. 
I've seen so many pretty things made with it that I'm like, oh, I think I have to have that one too. So I just ordered it. You know, you just got, <laughs> I just got to do it. I have no control. <clears throat> okay. Have all our bits and pieces out here. Now, this stamp set, let's see, where is it in the catalog? Let me find it quick. Here it is right here, wishing you well. And then they have some pretty cards here that are made with it. I love this bow. And this is one of our distinctive, 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 um, where they took pictures of things and it almost makes the images look real. They made rubber, you know, rubber out of photographs. And yeah, it's just really pretty. Okay. So we have... A fun technique to do on this one. I have got my cardstock pieces here. I've got very vanilla, again, four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. Just gonna burnish that edge. That's a word from my English friends, right, Lorraine? Burnish the edge. <laughs> That's where I learned it from, is my, my English um, demonstrator friends. Okay, and then I've got a piece of four by five and a quarter Mary Merlot. I cut out a scalloped oval from the layering ovals framelits. And I also used the stitched shapes oval to cut out, oh, this one is copper foil. This one is very vanilla. And then I've got a copper foil scrap and a very vanilla scrap. Now, the first thing that I did is I ran this Mary Merlot piece through this dynamic embossing folder. And remember, this is one of those big, heavy ones. So when you place your cardstock in here, you're only going to put one cutting plate on top and only use the platform, not the little sheet that goes on top of the platform. Or if you have an old multi-purpose platform, you're going to open up one tab when you run it through your Big Shot. You guys know you're always running your embossing folders through the Big Shot with the hinge going through first. Not sideways, not last, but it needs to go through first because you don't want all that weird pressure on your hinge. It'll break over time if you don't run it through first. That's what I've been told. Okay, so once you have that done, oh my gosh, this is, this is called the Tin Tile Embossing Folder and it's found in the Holiday Mini Catalog and it is gorgeous. I love this one. We're going to do a technique using the bright copper shimmer paint. So you guys saw the technique where I used the white frost. I've done a couple different things with that. Now we're going to use the copper because I don't know. Um, you know, copper just comes to me when I think of this tin tile. This is very popular right now in kitchens for the ceiling, for the, um, what do you call that, the backsplash behind the stove and the sink. It's a really hot item right now, that pattern. So Stampin' Up! is always on trend with things like that, and that's why I really love my company. Oh, did you see what I just did? I just dripped that all over. So don't do that. Hang on. Let me get meh, a wipe. Yeah, that was totally not cool. Let me get this cleaned up. <laughs> Live accidents. Yeah, they happen. They're real. I really spilled a lot of it because I was talking while I was doing it. That's how that happened. Okay, well, good. That cleaned up nicely. <laughs> okay. Phew. Okay, is everybody okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Where'd my sponge go? I'm just going to take the sponge and wipe off the edge of this bottle that I just made a mess out of, too. So we're going to close that up before we have another little accident. We're okay. Don't worry. <laughs> now, I am just going to take this and I'm going to brush this over my embossed layer, you guys. And as you can see, I pushed a little hard down here, but if you just skim this right over the top, and I am not being careful, look at how it just touches the top 
of the embossed image. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, right? Beautiful. Okay, hang on just a second because I think I'm missing some things here. There we go. I just want to make sure that everything was up to snuff on my screen. Isn't that just gorgeous? Again, copper shimmer paint with the Mary Merlot layer. Okay, let's make the rest of our card. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to take this piece and, oh, here's my ink pads, you guys. I am using um, Mary Merlot and Old Olive. I'm going to take, did I show you guys the stamp set? I think I did. So I'm going to take this image and I'm going to ink it up in the Old Olive. I keep setting my card in front of your comments. <laughs> that's not helpful. It's like, ooh, that's rude. And I'm going to stamp this right on here. Isn't that just pretty? All by itself, it's just pretty, right? Then I'm going to come in with the little flower stamps. And you don't have to even think about this. Just stamp it. And they look like they were just placed perfectly every time. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to glue this to my copper foil scallop. I thought this was a smashing color combination. I'm gonna put some regular dimensionals on the back. And I think this is a pretty big layer, you guys. So I'm gonna use four of them here. And um, I'm gonna peel the backs off and then just set this aside until we're ready for it. Maybe. Got too much in my hands here. There we go. I gotta go get my nails done, hopefully tomorrow, because I broke one. Yeah, I hate it when that happens, right? <laughs> and you're going, oh, you poor thing. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow. What color should I get, you guys? I don't know if I wanna get, I, I'm almost wanting to get the same color I have because I just think it's so pretty. The Blackberry Bliss is just beautiful. So, okay. Oh, I am missing comments. Um, oh, Mary Merlot. The flowers are Mary Merlot. Where did that go? Right here. Mary Merlot and Old Olive. Thank you so much for asking, Cynthia. And I think I missed some of your guys' comments in here, so I'll have to go back later. If you want to re-ask, you can, and I will try to keep an eye on that. You know it's really hard to stamp and try to monitor that. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I just want to stamp and have fun. <laughs> okay. Now, in this stamp set is this cute little just a note, and it's just oh so kind of scripty and dainty. I love it. What else do I have here? Oh, I know. Um, on the inside of my card, this bow that comes with the stamp set is just so pretty that I thought I would just stamp that. That's all I'm gonna do to the inside because I'm gonna make this an all occasions card. So let's put this on here. Yeah. Pretty delicious, right? Look at how pretty that is already. Holy cow. I know, I'm pretty impressed with this card. <laughs> and it's an original, so I don't usually um, copy stuff to show you guys because mm, that tends to make other demonstrators kind of mad. But <laughs> I don't want to do that. So I just punched out this just a note, but I want it to be a little bit smaller. So here's what I did. I'm going to take this and push it back in the punch. And you have to get it so it'll go back into um, where it's going to punch again, okay? And I'm just going to punch it. And now I've got that perfectly punched on both ends. And you can do this with any of our punches. You can slide them back in there. Hang on, I'm getting that copper off my hands before I have a disaster. But this is the, what is this called? I can never remember what the name of this is. Some label punch. Who knows what this is called? I can never remember this one. Yeah, so anyways, it's current. But here we go with that. Now, I wanted just a little something more to go with this than just putting that on her, our card front because I thought it was like needed a little bling. Yes, the classic label punch. Classic label, that's what it is. So I grabbed this um, 
ribbon border punch. Sorry about that big crack of sound. And I am just going to set in a little scrap of the copper foil paper. And we're just gonna cut this little piece off. Let me get rid of these bits. And then you're like, what is she gonna do with that? Well, we are going to add some glue to this. And I'm going to come in here and I want just that little scallop to stick out on the bottom. So that looks kind of dumb like that. So we're gonna trim this up just a little bit, just like this and just like that. So what do you guys, hang on, it's getting away from me. It's trying to get away. What do you guys think of that? Isn't that kind of cool? I thought that was pretty neat. Okay, so we're gonna put that on some mini dimensionals. And throw that. Who loves mini dimensionals? Like, I love them. It's like the best invention ever. Okay, here we come with this. I'm gonna put this right over here. And then I felt like my card needed just a little something else. So let me show you what I did. Let me close these up first. Put this away. I'm gonna bring in my bow jig. And you guys saw me get out this reversible Mary Merlot and copper ribbon. This is so, so pretty. It's just amazing. So I've got my bow jig on the smallest setting. If you guys wanna make one of these, these holes are an inch apart and then a half an inch on each outside one. And then just two nails. That's all this is. Now, if you don't have somebody who can make one of these for you, my friend Denise's husband makes them and pop me an email and I can hook you up with her. So, she, and she'll tell you everything about these. The cost, the shipping, the whole deal. Okay, so you cross it over, push it under, pull it over and tie it in a knot. And that's all there is to it. And this is a single knot. Just like that. You get yourself the cutest little bows ever. Look at how stinking adorable this is. It's just the cutest. Well, if I get my fingers out of the way, you'll be able to see it. Isn't that just sweet? Okay, let me grab my big scissors. These are my pretty little ribbon scissors. And when you have a tiny little bow like this, I like to cut a very sharp angle on my tails because I just think it looks really neat. Okay. Look at how cute that is. All right, we're gonna do mini glue dots. Where did those go? Oh, right here. Mini glue dot on the back here is going to attach this right to my card front. <gasps> Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? I know, I feel like the heavens opened up and said, glorious card. That copper shimmer paint is spectacular, as well as the copper foil paper. I mean, they go together so well, don't they? Just very, very pretty. Okay, so that was the Wishing You Well stamp set. Beautiful, beautiful stamp set. I've also seen some gorgeous things made out of this wreath. And the stamp set, it didn't grab my attention when I first saw it um, in the catalog. I thought, oh, that's pretty, you know, but it didn't grab my attention. But I have seen so many gorgeous things made with it that, well, then I had to buy it, right? That's how that goes. That's what we do to each other. <laughs> we are enablers, right? Okay, let me get this stuff put away. Oh, I've got another card to show you. Let me get this out of the plastic envelope. This also uses the Wishing You Well stamp set. Look at this beauty. Isn't that pretty? Crushed curry ink. Here's that bow and it was just cut out. It's an easy bow to cut out. And it looks really, really super uniform. Yeah, I think it was cut out. I don't think, we have a bow punch. Let me look at that for a second and see if that, 
Yeah, no, they didn't punch it out with that punch because it's a different shape. But um, this is one of the elements in one of our other framelit sets, but isn't that just pretty? And then they use the subtle embossing folder on this layer and then rub just a little bit of ink on it to make it pop. Yeah, super, super pretty. I don't know why... My comments are doing goofy things tonight. It keeps taking me to the bottom and I keep going back to the top and I don't know. But the pearls on here are really pretty too. So two gorgeous, gorgeous cards here. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Oh, you guys, I wanted to tell you. So I took a poll about changing back to um, six o'clock on Sunday nights. And the majority did not want to change back. They wanted to keep it at 7 o'clock. And I think I'm going to stick with that because that also works best for me. Um, it just makes it easier for me to get home when I am north. And like I said, I think I'm going to try and stay up north next weekend and um, broadcast from my mom's house, my Facebook Live, because I can certainly do that as long as the internet connection is good. And I tested it and it worked really good. So we can only hope that it will. Who has Peaceful Noel? Have you guys seen this bundle? It is amazing. Let me grab that designer series paper because it is so, so pretty. Again, with the copper. Copper is very hot right now. This is the most gorgeous paper ever, I think. I love it. So this bundle of products, sweet, it's a suite of products, has the Joyous Noel paper, that little sprig punch, the snowflake stars and wire elements. Let me grab those because I have been playing with those a little bit. Here we go. We have stars and we have like snowflakies. These are pretty cool and they are copper wires so those are pretty, right? Let's see if I can get those back in there. Oh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> and um, then the Mary Merlot copper 5 8 inch reversible ribbon. That's what we just, we just used on this card. Look at that beautiful glimmer on there. It's so pretty. The Joyous Noel glimmer paper which is right here. This is gorgeous. Perfect for Christmas. And I've used the orange for Halloween cards. So, or fall. This is some gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And you get, what is it? Like eight sheets of each of those colors. Okay. And then the Peaceful Noel stamp set. And then of course we've got some beautiful cards over here made with this bundle. So, all right, let's keep going. So, I know this is going to be kind of strange for you guys, but um, I do have a layer to show you that was a complete disaster. <laughs> and I decided to save it and show it to you because everybody thinks that everything goes all perfectly. And you guys, um, I think a lot of times you guys think that everything just comes so easy for demonstrators and why aren't we struggling? Well, you don't see that on camera, but believe me. It happens in real life, and I am going to show you one of my, I thought was going to be a great idea, but wasn't a great idea at all. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, this is the Christmas card portion of our Facebook Live tonight, and I am using the Real Red and Tranquil Tide. Don't forget if you're placing orders with me to use this host code on your order and that gets you special perks with me. One of those special perks is a drawing for a free stamp set of your choice. So you don't want to miss out on that. All right. And then we're going to use these red rhinestone basic jewels. And these are so fun. And this is the seasonal wreath embossing folder. And this is a dynamic folder again. Very, very thick. Here we go. So I've got classic Christmas colors here. Real red at four and a quarter by 11. Scored at five and a half and burnished. And then we've got a piece of Whisper White at four by five and a quarter for the inside. 
a piece of tranquil tide that is five. Oh, hang on, let me see. Five, five and an eighth. No, no. Five and a quarter by four. Sorry, math is hard. <laughs> And then glossy white, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, okay? So that's where our technique comes in. And I know I showed you guys the whole mother of pearl thing, right? So this card, where did my sample go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, this card is gonna be just a little bit different than that. Again, I am going to take the champagne shimmer this time. That's our piece to stamp on. First thing I'm gonna do is I shook it up and now I'm gonna bring in my little sponge wedge and I'm gonna use the lid. I've got some shimmer paint on here and I'm just going to dab it all over my layer. And you notice that I'm turning it back and forth. I want this to be random, not real uniform looking. Let me get just a little bit, let me shake this again. You can pour it out or you can just take some out of the lid, whatever works for you. If I was doing more than one card right now, I would pour it out into the lid that I used for the copper. But I'm only making one card, so this will be just fine. Okay, so once you have this on, now remember this is glossy cardstock. I'm just going to set this aside and let it dry. Put the lid back on here because we know what Kelly does with the shimmer paint, right? <laughs> um, and through the magic of TV, I already have a piece that is dried. I'm going to run this through the seasonal wreath embossing folder and I'm going to put it in so that that wreath is at the top of my layer. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Remember, you only need one plate when you're using these dynamic folders. I know I sound like a broken record, but <gasps> look at how pretty that is. What do you guys think? Da, 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 da. Okay, and Mickey, your message did pop up again. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, now what I decided to do, I'm going to stamp my words on here and I'm going to use this really really pretty font that says may your Christmas be holly jolly and bright and this is real red ink I'm going to stamp that right here on the bottom now we have to let that dry this is glossy paper and it takes just a touch of drying time I'm going to set that aside now I'm going to bring in the four by five and a quarter inch layer for the inside and stamp fill the season with happiness and this is where the Tranquil Tide comes in. We've got, um, where'd my stamp set go? Right here. Look at all these little elements. This is one of those awesome stamp sets that you can use all by itself or you can use all these little elements for your other cards, your bigger stamp sets with your bigger designs on it. But these are so much fun. I love sets like this. So I'm just gonna take the little berries and I'm gonna stamp them right there. Then I'm coming in with this pine bow and I'm gonna stamp here and here. And that's my decoration for the inside. And isn't that oh so pretty? Yeah, I really like that. Okay. All right, here we go. I don't know what's happening. Okay, Terry, how do you get a current catalog? All you have to do is pop me an email with your address. And my email address is kelly at a stampabove.com. Having to watch without volume at the moment, but enjoying. Well, Maria, I know you can't even hear me, so it doesn't matter what I'm going to say. <laughs> Isn't that so striking? Very, very pretty. Okay, now we're going to bring this back in because our ink should be dry now. And you can hit that with a heat tool to speed it up too, but you don't wanna overheat on glossy cardstock because it has a film on the top that makes it glossy. Now I'm gonna take the um, a sponge dauber and Tranquil Tide ink and I'm just going to run this around this wreath. I want that wreath detail to pop. Look at how pretty that is. And I'm not being careful. I'm not doing anything special, you guys. It's just hitting 
the raised wreath part. Isn't that pretty? Okay. I think we're done with ink. Let me close that up. We've got a few more things to do this spectacular card. We're going to bring that bow jig back in. And then I've got this ribbon. And this is our mixed satin ribbon. And this is 3 eighths of an inch. And it's just all satin here and then like grow grain stripes on it. So it's half and half. And it's really, really cool. Also in the holiday mini catalog. And I am going to make a cute little bow just like I made the last one. I do have a video on YouTube, you guys, that shows how to use this bow jig. So if you buy one from Denise, it's um, easy to learn how to use it. Okay, super, super cute. And again, I am going to do a pretty severe angle on my tails because I like that with these little bows. Mini glue dot. I never had these. The thing I'm worried about if, if I go up to my mom's house is I, there's a lot of stuff that I just keep right on my desk that I don't put in the bins and I'm afraid I'll forget something, right? That would be horrible. Okay, oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, now these are gonna come in and these are just the ticket. Exactly what this card needed. And I'm just going to randomly place these little rhinestones around my card. And again, these are called red rhinestones. So if you're looking for them when you're putting in an order, you just do a search for red rhinestones and they will pop up. Look at how pretty that is. What do you guys think? I thought it was pretty spectacular. Okay, we're going to attach this to our Tranquil Tide layer. Then I think we need to have a drink. <laughs> Kelly is encouraging drinking tonight. Mm -hmm. It's getting a little parched. All right, now you guys will find all the details and photographs of all of these projects on my blog on Tuesday. My blog is right here and every Tuesday I post my projects from Facebook Live. Now what if you tuned in late and you didn't see me from the beginning on this Facebook Live tonight? As soon as I'm done with Facebook Live, I will post this whole video to the page and you can watch it right from the beginning. So don't worry about that. Let me get some of the stuff cleaned up. I've got swap cards to show you from my display board. Yeah, they're pretty spectacular too. Get some of my stuff put away here. Um, oh, and I was gonna show you my disaster. Oh, and then I have another little idea too. So hang on. Okay, so I had this brilliant idea that I was going to put the shimmer paint all over the um, glossy cardstock layer and then I was going to emboss this wreath and then I was going to run my sponge brayer over it and color the whole page. Are you ready? Do you guys want to see? <laughs> this is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got that wreath embossed in there and then it's just like it was too much. So for those of you that think we just can go snap, snap, snap and make all this pretty stuff without much effort, you're wrong. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. That's why every once in a while you'll hear demonstrators um, say that they work a ton of hours and uh, yeah, it always doesn't just go like this. So this was my disaster before I came up with this. And I actually came up with this first. So this is glossy white. I embossed the seasonal wreath embossing folder on here. And then I just dabbed with the sponge and the um, shimmer paint on the wreath. And that's really pretty. So I saved this so I could do something with it. I'm not sure what yet, but I just thought it was gorgeous. This one I just saved so we could all laugh together <laughs> about my dumb idea. Yeah, well, it happens. Okay, so we had this fall, winter, and Halloween tonight. 
Aren't those cute? I'm really happy with the way these turned out. Okay, are you guys ready to see my display board? Who's ready to see the display board? I am ready to show you. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Don't forget to share my video, you guys. Sharing is caring. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do Okay, if you get um, motion sickness, close your eyes right now because I'm gonna pull this phone down and we are going to look at my display board and see if I can have some good light in here. Let's see, oh, oh, it didn't like me rotating the phone. There we go. Okay, so we'll see if we can get the glare off of these because they're in envelopes. Okay, so this is all the Frosted Floral suite of products. And this is my frosted floral display board. And this uses that tin tile in the background also. I think I'm gonna bring this over here in the light. Let's see what happens. Okay, yep, I think this is I think this is a little better. Working on that glare. Okay, we've got just some spectacular cards here. Oh, let's get the glare out of there. Holy cow. There we go. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna move down really slow. Now remember, you can come back and look at this video as soon as I'm done with it, I'll post it to my Facebook page. But aren't these, oh, this is frosted floral. This is not frosted floral. What was I thinking? <laughs> this is the country home. That is totally wrong. Nobody even said a word. Isn't that funny? Oh well, I'll have to fix it later. <laughs> See, not perfect by a long shot. Look at that, I love this one. Look at the coloring on that, it's so, so pretty. Yeah, it is country home, not frosted floral. <laughs> Don't worry, Linda Leonard, you can go back as soon as I'm done with this video and you can watch the whole thing from the beginning. I will post it to this Facebook page. Don't forget, you guys, if you need a catalog, pop me an email at kelly at a stamp I'd be happy to send you one. Okay, so there is my country home. Yeah, I put the wrong paper on here. I'll change that in a minute. Yeah, Kathy, I know you probably weren't going to order the country home stamp set, but you really need it. <laughs> Just trust me on that one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip you guys around. There we go. I'm back. I don't usually come back at the end, but I thought I'd come back. Um, Kathy's going to have to order the country home now because, well, it's beautiful. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my show. Um, like I said, next Sunday, I'm probably going to broadcast from my mom's house so that I can do a little bow hunting. Um, I have a card buffet coming up this Saturday, and as soon as that's over, by the way, it is full, so if you didn't sign up yet, it's too late. We are full on Saturday. As soon as that's over, I have to run to Nilesville, which is two hours away, to go to my class reunion, which I would never miss. We have so much fun. I graduated in a class of about 90, so yeah, it's a it's, um, small town, pretty fun. And I have to go to my class reunion, so I'll get there, you know, Saturday afternoon, and then I don't want to come home right away Sunday from, you know, because I have to be here to do my Facebook Live. So I'm going to get stuff ready and take it with me, and my mom will love that because she loves having me there. So, all right, you guys, um, don't forget, use the host code when you're placing orders. And I appreciate your orders. Don't forget to share my video on YouTube. You can share my video too. I hope you guys enjoyed the cards tonight. I think that we had a really nice selection as far as the seasons go. It's so hard right now because I know a lot of you want Christmas, but a lot of you are still like, no, no Christmas. We want fall. And um, I'm having a blast making all of them. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't think I have anything else tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in. I feel so very blessed that you spent Sunday evenings with me. I love this. All right, have a good week. I'll be back.
on the 14th. I was just looking at my calendar. I'll be back on the 14th, you guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye.